T-Mac back with a brand new, brand new P-Mac Movies haul video. And we've got a box from um, MVD Entertainment. So it's just going to be one sale, nine or ten items. I went back and forth. So basically what this is, before I get into that, um, thanks for watching. If you do enjoy PMAG movies, take a look at in the description section for ways that you can help out the channel. I do appreciate your feedback. Comments are very appreciated. I do try to get back to everybody. Um, so, you know, if you watch the videos and get some entertainment out of them, I do appreciate you um, leaving some feedback. Um, but I have a box here from MVD Entertainment. It is a Blue Underground sale purchase. Um, the sale's been going on now for a couple weeks or so. It might still be going. Um, and you, and you want to follow the sales, or if you want to follow the sales, use the Blu-ray.com bargains forum. And it's just a fantastic... Um, Resource. It looks like there's a Shout Factory Steelbook sale. Steelbooks! Um, probably overpriced still, even though it's a sale. We got breaking news of a sale. Yeah, they just, they got like normal prices, I would say, on some Blu-ray, DVD, Steelbooks. Nothing, nothing worth writing home about, it doesn't look like. Um, but, so that's what happens, though. The new deals... Somebody posts about them, and this, let me see when, the, this sale goes until the 16th, which is today, so it actually just ended. PMAC, why did you make the video after the sale ended? There'll be more sales, there'll be more sales, but you gotta be on the lookout. Um, so some Blue Underground stuff. The last time I purchased some in a Blue Underground sale was from Grindhouse Video. Their prices were, I think, probably around the same, but you didn't have to pay tax. I did have to pay tax on these. Um, there's a couple releases, um, at least one that came out since that sale that I got. And then there's another one that the limited edition of it had sold out during that sale, and I got the standard edition during this sale. Um, other than that... There might be some ones that I passed on before and I decided to get... Just can't get my words together. Uh, we'll see what I got here. I actually was like close to placing an order several times, but I'm like, eh. And then I get, I get some free time at work. I'm bored. I'm surfing the internet. And I get the urge to snag. So we're just... um popping this box open. It feels like it's packed pretty well. Like, it doesn't feel like anything's moving around. So, yeah, it is. They got, uh, they got, like, some paper around it. So, what I got here is I got, um, a few two-packs. We got one 4K. Um, I think there's one, like, special edition. And, um, let me see, how did they do this here? Okay, let's just do it, let's do it one by one, yeah. So they put it in, like, sideways here. Let's take a look at what we got. First, um, a two-pack. This was one of the two-packs that I wanted the most, and it's, um, looks like Klaus Kinski is in both of these, as well as Christopher Lee. It is Circus of Fear and Five Golden Dragons. This was $10.00. Um, according to the back, it is region free. It's a 50 gigabyte disc. So, you know, probably both movies are on one disc. I, I expect for probably all of these two packs that I got, which I think I got three of them, possibly four. Um, I think three, and then I got like a three pack. Let's open this up though, so you guys can see it. Cause I'm interested. I'm pretty sure it's one disc. Okay. So... And these both got, like, pretty mediocre reviews. But, you know, the way I'm thinking is, you know, these things could go out of print at any time or the prices could go up. You know, the prices of everything's going up. So when they're 10 bucks, 
you snag and you ask questions later. So they're both on one disc. Um, but yeah, who knows how long this stuff's gonna be gonna be around still, you know, with, with what's going on with digital and physical media. So snag that one up for 10 bucks up next. Um, now this is the one that went out of print and um, who there's some there's some cleavage on this so this is this is a Jess Franco movie and I think it's supposed to be one of his better ones so we're just gonna have to cover up a little bit it is Eugenie here another one with Christopher Lee this had a three disc limited edition but I think it was like a the other two discs, it had the same Blu-ray that's in here, and then it had the DVD and a CD, which I would never use those anyway. Um, I'm just taking a look at the back of this. So the movie's 87 minutes from 1970. I am trying to get a lot of the the Jess Franco movies. Um, and, and this is, again, region-free. It's on a 25-gigabyte disc. Th or, uh, this one was 15 bucks, so it was a little bit more... But again, who knows if it's ever going to drop below that. It may very well, or maybe it won't. Okay, up next. Um, this one I was interested in, and I, was, I, I think I had read about it before, and I was like, eh. But then I, I read a few more reviews on it, and it actually sounded a little bit more than like a creature feature type of thing. So I did go ahead and get it again, Klaus Kinski. Is in it, which in both of these movies has Klaus Kinski, but it is Venom here on Blu ray for $10. I believe this was also $10 during the Grindhouse video Blue Underground sale from like last summer or whatever it was. Um, I think it might have been more. I, I'm not 100% sure, but it was probably the same. I probably could have gotten it, you know, a, about a buck cheaper because of the tax. But it's 92 minutes on a 25 gigabyte disc. Again, it is region free, according to the back. Um, who else is in this? It's a 2K high definition um, transfer, and it's got like these uh, snakes going after people. But it sounds like there's more of a story to it than just the the snake or the snakes going after these folks. Um, um, and it was directed by Piers Haggard, who also directed The Blood on Satan's Claw, which is a highly regarded movie. And I believe that one was put out by um, Severin. And I have that, and I've watched it, and I thought it was not that great. But um, this one, this is a sturdy, heavy one here. We got uh, a three-disc set. So you could buy all of these movies separately, or you could get them all in one set. And I think they've been 20 bucks before. And I was like, hey. this time I'm like, I, I gotta, I, I want to snag these eventually. Cause you know, eventually it's going to go out of print and I'm going to be like, dang, why didn't I get it for 20 bucks? And it is this three pack here of 1990, the Bronx Warriors Escape from the Bronx and the new barbarians. Looks like some fun movies. They remind me of, like, you know, Escape from New York or something like that. I mean, you know, these are more low budget and and stuff like that. But um, apparently all three of these movies were from 82 to 83. This is 272 minutes of entertainment. Of silly entertainment. They look like fun, though. They look like fun. Three movies for 20 bucks, And if you buy them separately, I believe they were all... Ten dollars, so it made sense to just get the three pack. Now this is this is the biggie because this baby, this baby ain't cheap. I'm just taking a look at it because, like I said, this baby ain't cheap. It's looking good. It's looking good. Um, so this one on Amazon has been going for like over fifty dollars. Um, so when it was thirty dollars here, you know, of course I'm thinking that's still pretty steep. But for these blue, uh, blue underground 4K um, releases, you're going to have to pay. You know, this isn't something that's going to be at Dollar Tree someday or Dollar General. For some movies, you're going to have to pony up the dough if you want them. Um, you can't just wait on everything. And I figure, you know, people, a lot of people spend like 30 bucks on a 
uh, new release uh, mainstream title that ends up being, you know, six bucks at Best Buy. Um, so I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. It is Daughters of Darkness 4K. I read good things about it. It's got the holographic slippy. And, you know, if it didn't have the slip cover, would it be worth the 30 bucks? Probably not. Because the slipcover version of it does have value. You know, eventually it's not going to have the slipcover anymore. And then the slipcover is going to be worth something. Um, but I read really good things about the movie too. And I was interested in the movie. Which is uh, 100 minutes. 100 gigabyte triple layer 4K disc. It has the uh, 4K disc, the Blu-ray, and the CD. And the slippy. So you're getting four items right here for your 30 bucks. You beer yourself. You got three audio commentaries. They put, you know, they put a lot into this. They put a lot of work into it. It's got a collector's booklet. Um, so, you know, if you want this, 30 bucks is, is probably close to as good as it's going to be. Maybe you'll be able to get it for 20 bucks. Very doubtful. You're probably maybe 25, I'm guessing, is going to be the best you're going to be able to find this for. And that's a, only a possibility. So, 30 bucks, it can still be gotten on deep discount right now for about 30 bucks with the 15% off code. This was $6 shipping, by the way, for the whole thing. Um, up next, one that I was kind of on the fence about because it was a little bit more, again, like Eugenie, it was $15, but I decided. I'm getting it. Um, it is Stage Fright here. Another movie that's pretty highly regarded. You know, some people were talking about this possibly getting a 4K release, but who knows. Um, it sounds like kind of like a, almost a mix of giallo and slasher type of thing. Um, so I was interested in it and I went ahead and, and got it. It is from 1987, 90 minutes. It is on a 50 gigabyte dual layer, um, disc. And it does have a few special features, some interviews and things like that. Um, it's apparently about, uh, some individual who got out of a, in, uh, insane asylum and he's, he's killing some, some folks. I don't know if it's like set in a, a theater or something it, uh, young actors rehearsing a new miracle about a mass murder and then the psychopath escapes and then kills so apparently it's it's pretty good went ahead and snag that baby up what else do we got in here we got a few more left oh this is another one of the $15 ones which again was kind of like eh, if it was 10 I would definitely get it but I did end up pulling the trigger need to get all the Peter Cushing's it is shock waves which is a uh, zombie movie, apparently. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, they created some indestructible z uh, zombie stormtroopers. The Nazis did. And uh, it sounds like it's about stopping them. John Carradine's also in this. Uh, it is from 1977, 85 minutes on a 50 gigabyte dual layer disc. Again, we got a bunch of interviews. We do have an audio commentary. And we've got... Peter Cushing, baby. Shockwaves. What other shit do I got in this box? Um, we got another two-pack. I, I was on the fence about this one, but again, it's like, you know, if I don't if I don't go ahead and get these, um, and then they go out of print, I mean, it's only 10 bucks. So it's Code 7, Victim 5, and Mozambique. Now, I, I noticed with this one, it's got some, like, messed up plastic on the back. And I don't know if it's going into the artwork. That is not, like, the outside plastic. That's actually on the case. So that sucks. But, uh, you know, if you if you buy movies, you're probably used to this by now, where you got to deal with this sort of shit. I don't know how they do this, and they, like, don't... The quality control does not, you know, they don't catch it unfortunately but we got two movies one from 1964 uh code seven victim six it is 88 minutes um and then mozambique 98 minutes from uh 1964 read pretty mediocre things about both of these movies but uh they sounded like some you know it might be fun let's go with the other two pack 
Um, this one, these movies did sound quite fun. Um, here is the two, the other two pack that I got for ten dollars. It is uh, the Million Eyes of Sumeru and the Girl from Rio. One of these is another Jess Franco movie. Looks like the Girl from Rio. Um, hmm. So the Million Eyes of Sumeru is from 1967. It's 79 minutes, and the Girl from Rio. From by Jess Franco is from 1969-94 minutes, and it sounded like you know the movies are pretty fun, and I believe both of these are both one disc sets. I can tell just from the weight. And lastly, this one was twenty dollars. I'm 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 quite happy with the condition of these overall. They all look quite good, other than this one. Um, and the packing was good. It wasn't an issue with the packing. It was the, um, it was the, you know, the, uh, from the actual manufacturer, the, the factory. Um, so we got Manhattan Baby, the three disc limited edition with the Blu-ray, DVD, and, uh, CD. So this is like what the Eugenie set had before they sold out of those and released the regular edition. They had a limited edition like this one. Um, this is 89 minutes from 1982. Read pretty mixed things about it, but I did want to get it. And this is another one that they might put out on 4k, but, uh, I don't know that it sells well enough for them. Um, just from kind of reading about it a little bit. It's a Falchi movie, if I didn't already say that. Um, another 50 gigabyte one from 1982, 89 minutes. Again, I can't remember if I already said that or not. And it's got um, some interviews. Uh, and yeah, it's got. it looks like it's just got pretty much some interviews and then the bonus, the bonus booklet and things like that. So this, this looks like a pretty nice set. And, um, you know, is it going to, is it, is it going to be under 20 bucks at some point probably i mean possibly but but maybe not too and i think grindhouse probably had that one for about the same price and i passed on it but i bought a bunch of other things in that sale so keep your eyes open if you're interested in these blue undergrounds because the prices i set here these are good prices for blue underground um you know it's it's a uh, it's one of these boutique manufacturers and, you know, they need these, these companies are going to need, you know, people buying their stuff for them to keep going. So yeah, you're not going to be paying Dollar Tree prices, but you're helping support these movies continuing to come out. You're getting to own them on physical media because who knows what, what's going to happen with that. Everything is going more digital, you know, music, movies, um, currency, um, everything. So yeah, so I got some good stuff here for about ee, about as good a prices as you're going to get on it. You know, some of this stuff, like I said, well, probably, you know, they might be a little bit cheaper at some point, but who knows when, and you don't really know if, and it could go out of print in a couple weeks. I've already said all those things, so I'm, I'm repeating myself. So that's it, though. Thanks for watching. PMAC Movies. Again, take a look in the description section for ways that you can help out the channel. Leave a comment. Did you order anything from the Blue Underground sale? What did you get? What did you think about my choices here? Here's the big stack. What did you think about what I snagged up? And by the way, um, I, I just placed my order for these not that long ago. It was like Tuesday, and today is Friday, and I got them. They shipped them the next day from philadelphia and i got them um i got them today so really quick um the original estimation was i think tuesday and i was hoping that i would get these by saturday and i got these even earlier than that fantastic um so that's it we'll see you next time on pmag movies